Welcome, Cosmic Explorers. Let us discuss Metatron's Cube. The origins of Metatron's Cube are thought to have originated in the Middle East and have been found in ancient Egyptian, Greek, and Hebrew texts. It is also popular in early Christianity. The symbol is named after the Archangel Metatron. Metatron's Cube is associated with some remarkably powerful spiritual and metaphysical significance. It is believed to contain the secrets of creation and the underlying structure of the cosmos. It is also a powerful symbol for meditation, healing, mind-soul transformation, and energy work. Metatron's Cube is a symbol of spiritual healing and protection. Many people use Metatron's Cube to meditate or manifest their desires. The energy contained in the cube is thought to cleanse negative energy and thoughts, replacing them with positive energy. It's also believed to ward off dark energies and forces. The cube comprises 13 circles with lines connecting them and is believed to be the basis of everything in the universe. The circles and lines in Metatron's cube are believed to form all the known shapes in the universe, which make up everything in creation. In its 3D form, Metatron's cube takes the shape of a Merkaba, which is a 3D shape formed by two intersecting pyramids. Metatron's cube is unique, as within the boundaries of all the connected line segments. It contains every 2D shape that exists in the universe and creates all five three-dimensional platonic solids. Its simple yet complex design, the 2D shape formed by Metatron's cube is known to help induce focus on meditation. As legend has it, Metatron's cube symbolically reminds us and helps to replace negative thoughts with positive ones. The five platonic solids are contained in the cube, which are sacred geometric shapes that are thought to be the building blocks of the universe. The five platonic solids are tetrahedron, a solid with four faces, all of which are equilateral triangles, cube, a solid with six faces, all of which are squares, octahedron, a solid with eight faces, all of which are equilateral triangles. Dodecahedron, a solid with 12 faces, all regular pentagons. Icosahedron, a solid with 20 faces, all of which are equilateral triangles. Here's how they are typical used. Meditation and manifestation. Platonic solids are often used as a focus point during meditation, helping to manifest intentions and desires. Healing practices, elements, and chakras. Tetrahedron for real mint, tetrahedron with its four triangular faces, resonates with the fire element. It symbolizes passion, transformation, and creativity. In terms of chakras, it aligns with the solar plexus chakra which governs personal power and confidence. Hexahedron cube, earthal mint, fekyub, also known as the hexahedron, represents stability, structure, and grounding. It corresponds to the root chakra, which anchors us to the physical world and provides a sense of security. Octahedron aromant, the octahedron, with its eight triangular faces, embodies the air element. It signifies balance, harmony, and open-mindedness. In terms of chakras, it resonates with the heart chakra, promoting love, compassion, and empathy. Dodecahedron universe element, the dodecahedron with its 12 pentagonal faces, represents the universe element. It symbolizes cosmic consciousness, interconnectedness, and spiritual expansion. Correspondingly, it aligns with the third eye chakra, enhancing intuition and inner wisdom. Icosahedron water element, the icosahedron composed of 20 triangular faces, is associated with the water element. It symbolizes flow, emotions, and the deeper layers of the subconscious. In spirituality, it's linked to the sacral chakra, denoting creativity and procreation. Sacred Geometry In the study of sacred geometry, platonic solids are seen as the blueprint of creation, representing the patterns of the universe. They are often used in rituals and ceremonies for their symbolic meanings. Architecture and Design The Principles of Sacred Geometry including the use of platonic solids, have been employed in the architecture and design of sacred spaces such as churches, temples, mosques, religious monuments, altars, and tabernacles. These solids are named after the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, who hypothesized in his dialogue, the Timaeus, that the classical elements were made of these regular solids. They are the only geometric solids whose faces are composed of regular, identical polygons, 
Euclid devoted the last book of the elements to the regular polyhedra, which thus served as many capstones to his geometry. In particular, this is the first known proof that exactly five regular polyhedra exist. Remember, these practices are based on traditional beliefs and practices, and individual experiences may vary. Always consult with a knowledgeable teacher or source when beginning a new spiritual practice. Happy exploring!